Hi, my name is Mark Fletcher, I'm the owner of Tower Systems. I want to talk about how we use our software in news agencies in a way that's relevant for pet shop owners. The software is very similar in both businesses, but there is a, a pet shop software version and then there's a news agency software version. Where the businesses are similar is in habit-based purchases. So people come into a pet shop to buy pet food on a regular basis. And often they come in, buy their pet food, pay for that and leave. In news agencies, a similar things occur, a thing occurs when people come in to buy a newspaper and leave, or they buy a magazine and leave. So they're buying these low margin items and not generating the kind of revenue that the business needs. So as a software company that sells its software to many, many news agencies around the country, and also to many pet shops around the country, we see this similarity occurring in the businesses. And we think that if we can help educate pet shop owners on how we're doing loyalty or how we're running loyalty in news agencies, it might be useful for pet shops to consider. So I want to share with you some data first off uh, in one of my own news agencies. Uh, and yeah, I own a software company, but we also own and operate news agencies as well. So in, in this particular store, which is in a Westfield centre, our year-on-year -year sales are up by 17%. Uh, and I measure that based on how much GST we've collected. So our GST collected that we're comparing here from the 1st of April to the 30th of June 2014 to the same period in 2013. So the GST we've collected in that period is up 17% year on year. So we're in a, a much healthier, stronger financial position. I put a lot of that growth and success down to the fact that we're using discount vouchers. Now, discount vouchers are vouchers that appear on the bottom of the receipt. The software generates the vouchers automatically based on the rules that I've set within the business. So if somebody comes into the shop and they buy a magazine or a newspaper, it could be that they've spent enough to get a voucher and that voucher encourages them to go and purchase other items. Or if they've come in to buy a higher margin item, a gift or something like that, then they could use that voucher to then go and purchase the lower margin item like a newspaper or a magazine. We're seeing experiences with this in pet stores where people are coming in and buying pet food, getting vouchers and buying other items. Males who receive a, a voucher on the bottom of the receipt are more likely to want to spend the voucher straight away. Females will hang on to the voucher and they might get two or three vouchers together and then purchase something larger that they're considering down the track. So the, the value to news agencies, and we're, we're now running the voucher program in a couple of hundred news agencies. The value to news agencies is such that news agents are experiencing double digit growth because of these vouchers. We think there's a very similar opportunity with pet shops. We think that pet shop owners can benefit from using this technology, this front end loyalty approach to drive sales within their business. What we're seeing in the data, in the reports that we have available within the software, are that uh, information like, for example here, 28% of the vouchers that we've handed out in a three month period have been redeemed. Of the 28% that have been redeemed, 18% have been redeemed the day the, hand, the voucher was handed to the customer. 40% were redeemed days two to seven, and 42% seven plus days. On average, we're seeing the vouchers are being redeemed over a seven day, nine hour, three minute period. This shop is in a, a shopping centre where people come to do their weekly shop. That's why it's kind of a seven day cycle. News agencies are built around habit based purchases and pet shops are often built around habit based purchases. What we can also see in another report in the software is that 30% of all the vouchers we give out have greeting cards in the purchase, yet only 11% of the vouchers coming back are used for, for uh, greeting cards in the purchase. If we go and look at the magazine side, 29% of vouchers we hand out have magazines in the purchase, yet 55% of the vouchers coming back have magazines in the purchase. So that tells us that people are getting the voucher from higher margin items, and then they're using the vouchers to purchase everyday type items. And I think that's where the everyday nature, the habit-based nature of a news agency is benefit, benefiting from the vouchers. And it's also where I think the habit-based nature of a pet shop can benefit from the use of the vouchers. People who are buying items on a regular basis within your store are more likely to be able to benefit from 
the kind of vouchers that we're producing in the software. You have complete control over the value of the vouchers. You have control over the, how the vouchers are accrued and how the vouchers are redeemed. You have control over when the vouchers expire. Your customers don't need to have a VIP card. If you have one, you can use that, but they don't need to have a VIP card to use it. So if you see people in your shop who are not regular shoppers, the vouchers are a great way to go. If you see people uh, in your shop who are there just once only because they're on vacation or something like that, the vouchers are a great way to go. In news agencies, we're seeing vouchers growing healthier, stronger, more valuable news agency businesses based on those everyday purchases, based on those habit purchases. We see a similar opportunity in pet shops for similar habit-based purchases. And that's why I think the vouchers can help you grow your business. They're available in the tower software today. There's no extra charge to use them. It's something that pet shop owners can use right away to build stronger businesses. Thanks for watching.